Hey guys, I'm back again, and today is going to be kind of a different video than I've done. Um, this is My Sister Summer, and we're going to do a, uh, My Sister Does My Makeup. Uh, she's 13, so she doesn't do a lot of makeup. So we're going to see how this turns out of her doing my makeup. Uh, First she, time. She practiced, and she practiced, oh, that's upside down. Okay, <laughs> that's not working. Okay. So this is her eyeball, you know eyebrow and then the eyelid shut and then yeah the eyelid shut and then the eye eyeliner so that's this was her first time trying to do makeup so I hope y'all enjoy this um it's gonna just be a fun video all her products are down here that she's using I'll go ahead and show you that so there's all My these mess. products that she's going to be using so we'll go ahead and get started okay so we'll go ahead and get started now Okay, I'm going to be using the Tinted New York Color BB Cream Primer and Foundation. So, um, this is what I use every time I put makeup on. I started out just using it as a primer, but um, now I use it as a... Ew, she made a mess. Now I use it as um, my primer and my foundation. Just because it started doing a lot better as both of them. So as you can tell, this she is how we do it in Louisiana. She doesn't put makeup <laughs> on very often. She made a mess. So. I'm not being violent towards her. You just hurt my eyes. You're what? Oh, I'm sorry. I just didn't mean to. It's all my fault. It's always all my fault. Am I doing this right? Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. So there's my lovely primer and foundation and once again this is um, the New York Color BB Cream 5-in-1 and this is in O2 Medium. Do I need so to put the foundation on now? Or? We will go to the next step. Now I'm going to do the concealer stick which is the New York cover stick and you know you can buy this that is tricky. <laughs> okay, so I'll do this part. Um, I get this one from Walmart for cheap. It's just like this. It is the New York color. Um, it's just like a, a lipstick applicator. Don't use it as a lipstick if you do, um, you're retarded. So it is the cover stick, as she said, and I'm pretty sure it doesn't have a... Expression. Okay, it does. It's medium. The color is medium, so it's... 782A, and I also use this every day when I put my makeup on. Not every day when I put my makeup on, every time I put my makeup on. Because she does not wear makeup every day, and no. let me tell you, it is hit the us when she does it. Uh, sorry. I'm taking this small end of this, you know brush thingy right here and I'm rubbing it against the you really need to get like a webcam the you know thingy mo popper and I'm just smearing it over her pimples yes and pimples yeah, I did say pimples and I'm concealing her bags under her eyes because you know she's got two kids and doesn't sleep. Right, Mary? Yeah. So, yeah. It's basically what you do when you put that on. Okay, next I'm going to be doing the Rimmel. Thank you. Rimmel London Stay Matte Long Lasting Pressed Powder for her powder foundation and, and it is in the color oh 
005 silky beige. Um, it is just a tad too light for me, but since I use a bronzer and a highlight and blush over it, it really doesn't stand out and make me look ghostly, but lately I've really been obsessed with like matte products. Or as I first called it, matte, sadly. And I'll just be taking um, a flat top brush and swirling it around to tap off the excess. Access? It's excess. Whatever. It's whatever I call it. Did I just do one coat? Whatever you like. Well, I don't want to make you look ghostly. But that's kind of hard to do because you're already kind of pale. Yeah. Man, just kidding. Man, what are you, Scrooge? Like the dude last night at uh, when we went trick or treating. So, this is a face. Her lovely face. After the Rimmel Stay Matte. Haha. <laughs> <laughs> Take yeah. it, Mary. You suck. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so I'm gonna be using the uh, the for her bronzer. I'm gonna be using the in the New York Company. It's New York color. Whatever. It's still New York Company. Smooth Skin Bronzing Face Powder that she bought from Walmart for cheap. You know. And then I'll be using a uh, professional bronzing brush by e.l.f. that she got in e.l.f.'s beauty bundle. And um, this is also in color 720A Sunny. And um, I did get this brush from the e.l.f. beauty bundle. I did an unboxing on it. And if you hadn't watched it, I'll leave it linked down below so you can click on that link. They're very soft brushes. Not as soft as Mary Kay, but yeah. Look at the hairs. Gosh. And do I only do one thing with this? I don't even like to want. Do it again. Okay. So, so there's that. So it's my bronzer. And when I did the uh, Rimmel London Stay Matte, I used a uh, flat t top Mary Kay brush from Mineral Foundation. So next I'll be doing her. Don't make those faces. So next I'll be doing her blush, and this is the uh, distributed by Mark Wynn. And you know that blush is just that pale color. And I got it at Christmas time a yeah. couple years ago. Um, at Walmart. Yeah. You bought it for yourself? No, yeah, it was on sale. Oh well, after Christmas. Oh. Okay. Wait, you do it on your cheek one, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Make sure. I need to turn your head towards that one. Very blushy. Me? Yeah. She's a blushing Mary. So next, I'll be highlighting this gorgeous face. <laughs> yes. Okay. And I'll be using the uh, So Baked bronzer and it's number 129 Tiki by Hard Candy. It's from Walmart, girl. Mm -hmm. Okay, so it's... Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Okay. And your brush. Oh, yeah! And I have another one of these flat top Mary Kay brushes. And then the last thing, I did not mean to use that brush. I had an elf uh, bron... I had an elf all around face brush, but I accidentally used one of my Mary she meant Kay brushes. Use this one. I told you she didn't do makeup very often. Hey! So, she's only 13. What's well, so the matter in this thing? This is okay. the brush you meant to use. Very soft, very soft. If um, y'all haven't tried out e.l.f. brushes, you should try them out. Or if you're like, you know, me, mom of two, um, I'm a stay-at-home mom, so just my husband works. 
and I like to get nice quality brushes, but not spend a fortune. Like, I wish I could buy MAC or Sigma brushes, but I can't spend $35 on one brush. So, unless you're going to send me some of those, then I like these. They're e.l.f. They're good quality. They don't have fallout. Um, and they're they're really soft, so. That's also the good thing about Mary Kay, too, is they don't have fallout, and they're uber soft. Like, if it was legal, I would marry this brush. That's a little weird, but, you know. Down the cheekbone. Why does that say cheekbone? I meant nose bridge. And just down the nose bridge, right? And then under eyes. Like, okay, so it. Okay, I'm just gonna do this. Now, if, this, if it does not look good after I'm done with this, I'm sorry. I won't. This is like my first first or second time doing her makeup, you know. Very similar. And, um, this is also my go-to highlight. I use this every single time I put on my makeup. So, um, it is a little more costly for me, I mean, if you can buy, like, expensive, you know, MAC and stuff, um, highlights, you know, go for it. But this one is really, really good, and, you know, I got it from Walmart, and I think it was, like, $12? I'm not, I don't remember exactly, but it's, it's a really, really good. Point deal. being, it's good because it came from Walmart. Okay, so, yeah, she just, like, scared the mess out of me because she told me, this is a surprise, but let's just say y'all need to watch her next video. Um, next, I'll be priming her eyelids. Don't even, Mary. Seriously, no. And I'll be using Elf, Miner Elf Mineral Eyelid Primer. And it comes, the number is 6531 Sheer. And basically, what I need you to look at me and close your eyes. Basically, what you do is you, you know, this is the color of it. Like, it's very pretty. It's shimmery ish. So, you just take it on the lid and swipe once or twice. And you just rub it in. Don't rub, dab. Take that back. And then you just do it, you repeat it for the next lid. And then you just rub. Dab. And right there. Sorry if I put your eyeball too hard. And that is the part. Mary, would you let me leave your makeup like that? No. Okay, so while her eyebrow primer sits, eyelid. Why did I say eyebrow? Because I just do her eyebrows. While her eyelid primer sits on her eyelids, I'm going to be filling in her gorgeous eyebrows that she really needs to fix. Love you. Um, Sorry, guys. This is just Maybelline New York. It's old. Um, I'm sure it's expired by now. If makeup does expire. <laughs> um, it's the Expert Wear eyeshadow. I still think they sell these little mini palette looking things. Um, as you see, two are missing. One has hit bottom. But I like this one. Because I do bleach my hair, I leave my bangs brown, so I have dark brown eyebrows, but I use this matte light brown, and it kind of, it fills them in, and it, um, lightens them at the same time, so it's not like blonde hair and black eyebrows. It's not overwhelming, and the brush isn't really anything special. She doesn't remember the name of it because she got it for Christmas this past year um, off of Amazon. It was like a like 36 piece set from Amazon.com. Um, I'll leave that link down below. The it's exact, super soft. Uh, yeah, everything. they're they're really good. No fallout and they're really soft. But of course, it's not better than Mary Kay and or Elf. Okay, how do you do this? Just follow. So do I like my eyebrow? Do I do it like this straight down? Yeah. Or, okay. But not hard or bad. Yeah. You just fill me in. Okay. 
This eyebrow's gonna right here, and isn't it? Mm -hmm. Okay. Do your eyebrows grow where you want to? Yeah. Them? You can't put that back. Just kidding. Love you. How much do I need to fill in? Just whenever you think it's good. And well, I'm trying to make this side even with that side. Because this is like the way it's done. And your eyebrows are sisters, not twins. What? That means you'll never get your eyebrows exactly the same. Okay. Then you just said that. Because it's funner to say they're sisters, funner? not twins. See, this is how we communicate in the South. Funner. And funner's not a word, but we say it anyway. The struggle. There. There's no little little. Hold on. Keep that close, please. Oh, that's not even on my eyebrow. I know, I was trying to make it off. Okay, there. Oh. It's amazing. Oh. That's <laughs> so lovely. <laughs> no, so nice. I, no, I have to set it before you can ask. This is just. Ma Mary, just stop. This is a uh, cover girl. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Seriously, there. <laughs> Stop laughing at my cover girl. Um, professional natural lash, and this is just to set her eyebrows. Uh, that way, like the makeup or anything doesn't come off of them. So when she goes like parties or something, whatever she does. I got parties. I got two kids. <laughs> you know when she goes to Walmart and she's when like. When I go grocery shopping. And she's on her crutches and she is so wet. Yes. <laughs> To my lovely subscribers, um, I fell on my child's toy, and now I have to have knee surgery because I tore my meniscus. It's a sad story. It's not a cool one, but it's sad. I laughed my butt off until I realized she was rolling on the ground cussing and laughing and crying. I was laughing my butt off. But, you know, when she goes to town, her makeup doesn't sweat off. As she's sweating because she's so hot walking from those crutches. Which way does the thing go? I don't know. I'm just going to go with mm -hmm. it. Am I doing this right? Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. There. Her lovely eyebrows. What? What's your name? Okay, so this is the product that I always. Uh, set my eyebrows with. It's the professional natural lash cover girl. Um, I'm going to get some first just the clear. When I first bought, okay, when I first bought this, it was completely clear, but after using it, it has kind of discolored from my brows having product in them. Let me read this. And um, putting it back in there. So. I've seen a lot of YouTubers that have the same problem. Um, there are some other brow sets that are tinted that I do want to try. But if you have any, like, eyebrow setting or eyebrow product suggestions, just uh, comment down below in the comment box. And, you're all, and always feel free to email her and tell her what you think about her videos because this is like really important to her especially because she can't get out of the house as much as normal 23 year old women can so email her and tell her how her video and tell her how or her just comment down videos below. make you feel and you know always feel free to send her stuff too that's always good and now I'm just gonna take this spooly thingy my bobber just go over her eyebrows after they had set him I don't know if it's setting this name in a word I'm a All right, now the eyebrows on point. Let me last Mary. Okay, so last January. Um, That's last January. It was yeah. this January when you got married, wasn't it? This past January. Exactly. This January. Year. It was this year at the beginning of the year. January thirty first of fourteen. I got married, and this is the glass that I got. 
at her engagement at my, party? No, at my uh, bachelor slash bachelorette party. And tonight I'm drinking red wine out of it. So. Her three dollar red wine. Continue. Okay, now I'm going to. Gosh, this is the worst part for me. Okay. Well, first, before I start doing all this chisnet, find the right brush for me, please. Mm -hmm. Um, I'm gonna be putting on her Ame and Ame. Whatever. As if any of y'all watch TV, and I'm sure y'all do, y'all probably see Carrie Underwood. Um, you know advertising this and it's for like smoky eye looks but if you're a Mary and like to do different things you're gonna use it for seasons like she can be a seasons quiz on this like you're gonna use it for seasons parties or anything like that like she doesn't I've rarely seen her with a smoky eye so this is good for anything when I first started wearing makeup um I did like smoky eye every day so wait so you're gonna do your inner first okay mm -hmm. let me see the eye on your hand, please. No, no, that's a weird setup. Oh, and we're gonna use the uh, Elf Defining Eye Brush. This also. <laughs> <laughs> Excuse her. I'm sorry, it kind of came out. This Rack also it, came in her Elf Beauty Bundle. So, yeah. my very first Elf Beauty Bundle, they sent me 12. Um, More than 12 brushes, I thought. No, it was a 12 brush set. Really? If you haven't subscribed to it, you need to really, really look at it. And it was a good deal, too. Like, it was cheap. Like, I think it was, like, what, $20 for... Yeah. Like, please. I'll link it down below, like I said. Well, like yeah. It. Anyways, um, so, for her inner lid, I just learned this today. Like, literally, like, an hour ago before we video. You're going to use this brush for her inner lid, and... Apparently, you start from right here. Yeah. So, we're going to use this brown color. It's very pretty. The inner lid? Yeah. Oh. That's what we use for the inner Yeah, that's what we use for the inner lid. That's the outer. So, we did the outer first earlier? Yeah. I did the outer brush then. No, you do. <gasps> the. Yeah. <laughs> okay. But that. Uh, take that back. We're going to be using this. Th this color right, right, right here for her inner lid. And I flat or mm -hmm. flat? Okay. Mm -hmm. Don't even marry. I love you, but no. And I'm not gonna make this like over dramatic because I've, trust me, I've done that before. You should have seen what I did with her makeup. When she got her two face, when she got her second two faced thing, like Mary, wasn't it just amazing? It was the two faced. Show them, it's right there. Um, I you. Sugar and Spice Holiday Edition palette. I also used her carousel and her vice palette. Um, and the Spice Three and the Too Faced La Belle carousel. I did first impressions on all three of those products. If you haven't watched them, they'll be linked down below in the description box as well. I'm nervous to do the crease. Hmm. I think, like, the most dramatic part of her eye when I did it was the crease. Are we we're doing this all in one video? I'll bring up do the next do the Okay. So mm -hmm. next oh. next we're gonna do the uh holy moly. I got this right this time. We're gonna do the this brown color with this uh Ego Tools brush. It says it's for the crease, but it's too fat to do the crease because people if your crease is this wide, you, <laughs> you, <laughs> you got big eyes. Yeah. <laughs> so so Greg. You got big eyeballs. Like you need to go get your eyes reducted. Go get like, them in. <laughs> okay for you. Okay. So. <laughs> so flat. Mm -hmm. Straight. Mm -hmm. Okay.
so I just swipe out. And I'm try I'm not gonna make it draw dramatic. I'm gonna make it to where it does extend a little past her eyelid, but not like up here, like how some people wear it. Not a wang. A wang? Yeah, like a chicken wang. Let me feel like chicken wings now. This is like a. You have to cook this for supper more. And you'll probably see me, you know, tapping this on here. I'm doing that because my a lovely sister taught me this. Um, when you do it, you don't want a lot of fallout on here, so you're just gonna swipe it across. And if you think you got too much, you tap it, and then you just start from right there and go out. And you don't ever, ever go back that way when you're doing the outer lid. And that is because you will get a whole bunch of fallout. And when you do get fallout, for you younger viewers like my age, or if you've never done makeup before, if you do that, don't wipe it off with your fingers. Wipe it off with a, with this yep, kind okay. of brush. If you have fallout, like all under here, um, you can do like, I know some YouTubers and celebrities, don't even think I'm lying. They put tape under here. Um, Elf has a product. It's you hold it on a stick, you put it under your eyes, and it reflect like you can't get. It's kind of like the um. It's kind of like hairspray shield that like old women use. You put it in front of your face and you spray hairspray. It does good. Anyway, so you put that under there, but. I don't have any of those, so if I have any fallout, I just she uses this all around base brush bite no. gently do like this and it it doesn't spread it onto your face. Okay, come here. I gotta do this. You look at me? That look at the nice. <laughs> Does that look at the nice? Does that look at the nice? That look at the nice. Okay, so next I'm doing her crease, and as you can tell, I no longer have that um, Alme palette. Did I say that right? Yes. Okay, Alme palette. Uh, see, discarding this until the next video. I have again this Mark Wynn palette that she most likely got from Walmart. And so I'm just going to take another Amazon brush, like I said, doesn't know the name of it, and I'm just going to take this dark gray-ish color, and this is actually really deceiving because, as you, like, it looks really dark. But then when you swatch it, it looks pigmented. But once when you, you put swatch it on, it on your skin, like you can barely see it. So you have to do a, you have to build it up. Yeah, you have to do quite a few layers. And if you're doing this in your crease, be very careful. Open your eyes. And do it with your eyes open. Okay. And that's it. Mm -hmm. okay. Is it okay if I can follow on here or something? No. Okay. Okay. Eyes open. No, 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 don't do that. Like, we're just relax your eyes, but keep them open. And don't, I start from and go out. Okay. Try, try, and then Okay, pull it Okay, open again. You sure not? Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah. Open it. Okay, Oh, crap, I'm not even saying what I'm doing. No. Dang it. YouTube mm. mistake number one. So, I'm gonna just take this itty bitty brush and swatch this on there quite a few times and tap off the access. So she's going to keep her eyes open and don't dance funky. 
and I'm just going to take it, start from the end, and drag it out. So I'm going to do that again. I'm just going to repeat this process until it's built up. Quite nicely. Okay, so open your eyes again. So I'm just going to uh, repeat this process until the makeup is built up. And my number one mistake, and it's still kind of my mistake, is I like to do it back and forth. But So look at me, so I kind of got to go back and touch it up over here. But that's a good thing when you do the highlight and you blend it. It's not as sharp, and so the edges aren't as bad. So you can, you know, you know what I'm saying. Close this, please. Mmm. Look at the same face, so we didn't even know it. <laughs> um, so, don't. Why are you smiling? <laughs> I'm gonna just make this face. Okay. No, that's like so unattractive. Why am I worrying about being anyways? Okay. So for her center of her amazing eyelid, I'm going to do be doing this Alme color. And what brand is this brush, Mary? Mm. She got this for I like think it came from the Dollar Tree. Hey, they make some good stuff. Anyways, and you know, it's a just a Dollar Tree brush, and it's very smooth and soft. I'm going to be doing this middle silver color right here for her center. So do it top or bottom? Oh, uh, flat. Flat, flat, flat. I just make a little circle. Mm -hmm. Did I start from the top of the crease down? Mm -hmm. Wait, put your finger there again. Mm -hmm. See, y'all, I'm just, uh, trying to make this as good as presentable will get with a 13-year-old. Did you ever tell them about your ultimate One Direction experience, Mary? No. So, last month, well, yeah, last month, um, well, no, two months ago, a few weeks ago, whatever, um, on, in September, on the 25th, Mary took me to a One Direction concert, okay? And she was regretting that day for nine months. Nine months. Well, no, actually the day she bought the ticket. So, like, it was almost a year. And she was regretting it. But she, she doesn't want to admit it. She had a good time. I sat down the whole time. She didn't want to get up and do anything. Oh, she I don't know their songs. And... But she did, we get out of the concert, and we walk, like, two blocks to the car, and the car is booted. Two boots, two boots on boots the car. On the car. And she followed these cars in there, thinking it was free public parking, but it, apparently it was $20. But the sign was, like, small and hidden. So, that's the story of New Orleans and 1D. I missed by saying the summer. We got to the arena as soon as their last song started. So I made there just in time for One Direction. Then I waited an hour and a half for them to get there. But no, nope, she doesn't want a minute. She had fun. She could have. No. She could have had more fun if she wouldn't have just sat there the whole time. If she wouldn't have just sat there, she could have. Like, all she did was video me and laugh at me for screaming my head off and I was hoarse the next day. We were late too. And I'm just taking this and swatching it. Why am I just swatching it? I'm not swatching it. I'm I don't know. And I'm just making a small circle on her eyelid. And you know, that's her look. Okay. Now I gotta blend it. I'm taking this Eco Tools. It says it's a highlighting brush, but it is too wide to be a highlighting brush. Cause I don't, honey, I don't think anybody's eyebrows are like do. Like a nah, nah. Um, so, yeah, I'm just taking this and blending her, 
blending it in and like I'm gonna do is blend a little on the top so it's not as dramatic and blend some on the bottom one on the top and I'm just blending the crease in with it that way for the parts of the crease that I messed up it's not uh it doesn't like it's not fall out but it's like what would be the word for it Mary like at excess and but it's like on there and I'm just you know doing that kind of making the shape of lips but not and it's just really simple and you just blend it in, out, in, out, in, out, in, out. Okay. My bad. No, I hit the right me. Oh, okay. Oh, gosh. So, next, I'm going to be highlighting her magical face. Wow. Yeah, her eyebrows are she needs to fix those. Just kidding. Love you. Um, no. I'm gonna be, uh, I sound like passage right now. Uh, I'm, I'm gonna be, okay, I'm taking the champagne color. Uh, she got, she got, I think she got these from our mother. Walmart? From Walmart. Yeah, like she, CoverGirl. yeah, she had, yeah, it's CoverGirl. She had a whole bunch of coupons for these, so we just, like, stocked up. And we got some from Walgreens, too. And I'm just taking this um, Eco Tools. It says it's a blending brush, and so the brush I just used for her blending brush is supposed to actually it was I was actually supposed to use this brush, but me and Mary decided that it is too rounded to blend in your stuff. Okay, and it's a champagne color. Everybody's favorite type of alcohol. Just kidding. Unless you're married and like three dollar oak leaf wine from Walmart. Do I do it straight or mm -hmm. like this flat? Flat. Good. Mm -hmm. Mary, you stay there, and I'll just like start from the inner and out mm -hmm. and go down and bring it down my brow. Okay. I am rubbing this on there, starting from the end, going out for her highlight. And if you need to, and now you really want to just do cream, white, some pearl colors, depends on what kind of pearl. Like if it's got a bluish tint, that's okay. If it's got a purple tint, no. Um, you want to do that. And you're just going to take it and you're just going to start from the inner part of it and bring it all the way to the brow. And then when you're going to blend it in, that way there's not skin showing right there, you're just going to take it like this and you're just going to bring it down. That way, and just dab it. Like, don't do that. Just dab it like this. So I'm going to do this. I'm going to mirror, mimic the best way I can this eye right here. And I'm just going to bring it to her brow, where her brow stops, and just repeatedly do that the last time. And now I blend it. There. Okay, so now I'm going to do a tilt emphasis on the word attempt to do top eyeliner on her. Um... I'm using this Alme eyeliner. Pretty simple, you know. And black. Then, it's black. Oh no, Mary, it's it's pink. It's pink. I'm kidding. And then I'm gonna be using this um, Elf Professional Smudge Brush. Like us, this was one of the 12 pieces that came in her beauty bundle. Works really well. And you want to use smudge brushes for if like you have a really sharp line and you don't want it to be like if you don't want it to be like dramatic if you want it to just be sudden like but not subtle. like huh subtle subtle oh uh if you want it to be subtle that what it it is still look like you have eyeliner on but not have like your whole face caked in eyeliner and if you're a beginner and doing top eyeliner 
Mary recommended this to me. Um, you just want to start with a simple line, and then once you get more advanced in doing the top eyeliner, you can just wing it out a little more each time. So first I'm going to apply this. Close your eyes, please. I start from right here. Mm -hmm. I go to right here. Okay. Let's do this. And I follow your eyelash line. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. Does anybody say? Mm -hmm. Hold on. One thing I will never do with eyeliner is do it on my waterline under my top lashes like some people do. I give you people props if you do that. So next I'm just going to take it and I'm going to smudge it out so that way it's not dramatic and sh sharp. Because this look is kind of like a night look. Something you would wear if you're going to like a Christmas maybe Christmas party because these are kind of Christmassy colors if you were just to do the simple brown color by itself you would wear that more during the fall but these are more Christmassy colors because you're starting to get into the Christmassy feeling starting to get colder outside so Christmassy time so this is more like a night look day look is good for it too it's like a good day like for you people that have a job or go to college or whatever you know that's a good thing to do and I just mimicked the same thing right here I'm making it thick and next I'm just going to smudge out the eyeliner so it's not sharp and dramatic unless you like being dramatic then be our guest to doing this and that is the product of her eyeliner. Okay, so, you know, next is her eyelashes. Yes, she would not let me put false eyelashes on her. Because she says, I have to master liquid eyeliner before I can put false these on myself or her. Or anybody else. Sorry, I slapped you. So, next, I'm going to be doing her favorite mascara of all time. She's tried, like as many mascaras more than I can count and I can count pretty high she's tried a lot and many different looks with it so but I'm going to be using her Too Faced better than sex mascara she says it's really great and I absolutely love the way it does not clump or anything like it's got no fallout no nothing it's really good it is my go to mascara now um I first tried it when I got a sample of it with my Too Faced LaBelle Carousel, and then I also got it in the Sugar and Spice palette. Like I said, both of those uh, first impressions will be linked below. It is just wonderful. It gets to the base. It extends on, makes them full, and like she said, it doesn't clump or nothing. It's just a wonderful mascara. Like it's wonderful. To be honest, it's better than Alme and all the mascaras. And apparently when you do mascara you don't ever, you know, pull it out, pull it back in. Like I just did. Yeah, like I just said. <laughs> Let's shake it up. And then take it out and and the bristles are really weird, in my opinion. Are you ready for this? Mm -hmm. Do I need to do your bottom lash? Like, <clears throat> Okay, good, because I would probably screw that up. And you just apply it very smoothly. And with this, it does not... Ooh, ooh, ooh. <laughs> <laughs> you poked me in the eye! She poked me in the eye! <laughs> so, hey, your eyelashes are long. Now poke me in the eye! <laughs> Sorry about that, Mary. I love you. Kind of looks like I get to your bottom lash. <laughs> <laughs> Somebody say it, mate. She's like, I'm going to murder her now. Like, okay. Um, but no. 
Uh, now I forgot what I was going to say. I I was expressing my feelings on this mascara. Mary, I've only done one of your eyes. She poked me in the eye, Bob. She's fine. She's poked me in the eye many on many occasions. No, I'm not. Um, so, yeah. Shake it! Christina! <laughs> no, shake it. The product's already on the brush when she put it in there. Don't put me on the eye. I'm not! God! Her eyelashes do look amazing, though. Now I'm scared. <laughs> Stop blinking! I'm scared. You're putting me on the eye. I'm learning! I'm gonna ask really, really wide. It's got it all over my face. <laughs> Come here, let me get this spooky brush. No, no, no. <laughs> Come here. No, no, no. Come here. <laughs> <laughs> she tried to use the end of her makeup brush. <laughs> she tried to use the end of her makeup brush for something. I don't know. <laughs> Somebody save me. I feel like I'm going to murder her now, okay? So, yesterday, Mary dressed up as a nerd for Halloween. I did. And there were some rude people. Like, I ended up carrying all the bags. And there was this one man. And he was like, the Scrooge of Halloween. <laughs> I said thank you to him. And he was like, uh. now come here. Let me get... I, I wiped it off very gently. And that's her eyes. Minus this. I wiped it off. Nice. As good as I. Uh. Okay. What? 